on guys um i wanted to do this quick little um i don't know announcement maybe spam at the beginning of my video just really quickly um in the past week i've been emailing this girl uh from google back and forth um kind of in the process of getting my channel partnered and or not partnered i'm partnered um getting in the process of getting my channel verified um and she was basically telling me everything looks good um however i need a little bit more of a following on google plus so I'm basically making this saying, if you have a Google Plus account and you would be nice enough to go ahead and give me a follow, you don't have to use Google Plus, you can follow me and mute me. Um, but you know, if you have one, and I know a lot of you do because you have to have one to have a YouTube account, so don't give me that bullshit. Um, but yeah, if you, I mean, if you have one and you want to go check me out on it, you want to just give me a follow, it would really just be, be appreciated. It's kind of just a numbers game so you can follow me and be super inactive and not give a shit about anything, never look at any of it. That's totally cool, totally fine. Um, there's some cool things on Google Plus though. There's like polls and stuff where if I have like two videos, I two video ideas, like you guys can vote on which one you want more. So I mean, if you guys are kind of into the Google Plus thing, I know a lot of people are against it and stuff. But if you're if you're into it, I mean, I'm super new to it too. But I mean, if there's a decent amount of you who are are about it, you follow me, you're keeping up with stuff and whatnot. Um, I feel like it could be kind of a cool thing to keep up with me and stuff. Um, I'll definitely be able to use that. It's a lot more user friendly to use through uh, YouTube than Facebook is. So that's kind of cool. So uh, it definitely can make life a little bit easier for me, help you guys keep up with me. But that's totally your call. Um, uh, if you guys aren't into it, we can pretend like this never happened. But uh, go ahead, give me a follow. Be greatly, greatly appreciated. The link will be in the description. All right, done. That's over with. Let's get to the video. Let's get to the main topic. Sorry, I had to do that. I wasted two minutes of your life. I know. I'm sorry. Forgive me. I will give that back to you with comedic humor right now, though. Um, so, I know you're reading this title, and I feel like I should put the disclaimer out that I have not raped a girl ever. Never, ever. Never raped a girl. 100% never. Okay? So, know that while watching this video. Um, so, what happened? was one of my friends was throwing a party it happened it was last weekend so this was saturday throwing a party um and he actually we i i know him from high school he was on um, our high school basketball team with um a few of the other guys that are in this video um so but however he transferred to like he we were his last high school transfer to but he transferred to like two other ones uh before he got to my high school and uh so basically he kind of knew people from a bunch of different high schools and whatnot um, and then he finally got to us and we graduated with him and everything. So we were his final high school. But, um, so, so at this party, there was people from a bunch of different high schools. Um, not a bunch. There's people from what, three or four, maybe four high schools. I don't know. Um, so there's, so there's a decent amount of people at this party. Like I didn't really know, like they were kind of from the area, but like, I didn't really know them or anything. Um, but that was fine because there's people from my high school and stuff. It was cool seeing some, uh, some old faces, um, that I haven't seen in a while so and I guess Saturday was national tequila day so that, that was that happened I guess um, but there's this one girl who I've actually known for a while that was taking it upon herself to participate in national tequila day but that was a nuts so then she was drinking fireball and then she had some vodka and I'm looking at her and she's like oh yeah like I can fucking hang like I can handle all this and I'm looking at her drinking all these mixed alcohols and I'm just like dude you're gonna die I, I don't care how much you think you can drink you're about to die She's like, no, like, I, I do this all the time. Like, I love whiskey. She's fucking pounding. Like, she had, like, a little water bottle of Jack. And I'm looking at her like, dude, you're, you're going to die. <laughs> so, and she's not, like, a big girl or anything. Like, she's pretty small. Doesn't weigh that much. Like, she, I like, fuck. I don't know what she was thinking. Trying to impress someone. I don't know. So, about an hour later, she is insanely drunk. And for whatever reason, she thinks that, like, I want to hook up with her. Obviously, yeah, because otherwise there wouldn't be a story. And so for the longest time, she's like hanging on me. She's like trying to kiss me and stuff. I'm like mouthing to people walking by, like, help me, like, get me out of this. Finally, she's like really going in for like a kiss. She's like starting to grab me down there. I'm like, you're drunk. She's, she looks at me. She's like, no, I'm not. And I was like, yes, you are. Watch, walk to this wall and back. And I turn her around. I say, walk in a straight line. And so she starts walking. And uh, one of my best friends is right next to me. Um, he's talking in a different circle though, so he's not really seeing what's happening. I literally slap him. He turns around like he's about to fight me. Um, and I look at him like, dude, you have to save me from her. So for a while, it's me and him trying to get this girl to like leave us alone. Like she's super nice, like um, super chill girl, but it was kind of like, dude, like you need to like chill out and like leave us alone, maybe. So finally, we're we're starting to calm her down and stuff. 
And then we're in the house now, on the couch, trying to just get her to chill out, to, like fucking babysitting her. I hate when people get so drunk that they need to get babysat. And then she dry heaves, and my friend and I are like, oh shit, like you're about to throw up. And she's like, no, I'm not, no, I'm not, I'm fine. And then she dry heaves again. We're like, oh my gosh. So we try, I mean, we didn't even have time to take her outside. So we take her straight to the bathroom that was like right by us. We take her into the bathroom and we put her by the toilet. We're like, all right, throw up. Like, you're good now. Like, you're fine. You're by yourself. Like, just get it over with. So she sits there. She starts to like pass out on the toilet. We're in there for like five minutes, waiting for her to throw up. It's not happening. So finally, we're like, all right, like, this, this isn't happening. Like, she's not throwing up. I don't know. Um, and so we're, and we're starting to hear knocks on the door and stuff. Um, and so my boy opens the door to walk out and there are these four girls who we didn't know. They didn't go to our high school. They've never really seen us. And my boy walks out and I'm sure they were thinking, okay, he probably went to the bathroom. That's not a big deal. Then the girl walks out, she stumbles out and they're like, oh damn, like they just hooked up. I get to be the fucking third person who walks out and they're just staring at me. Like what the fuck just went down in this bathroom? And they they literally didn't say where they're just staring at me for these girls. Um, and I look at them like, uh, it's uh, not what it looks like. And I just keep walking. I'm just like, fuck, like they think like they, they, that's the worst. Like I probably can ruin my image worse with them. So anyways, drunk girl finally starts to pass out on the couch while all this is happening. Uh, another one of my friends who, uh, was on the basketball team with us and, uh, his ex-girlfriend kind of got into this thing. Uh, there was crying and stuff whatever um and me and my best friend we're kind of close with his ex-girlfriend too um you know we're, we're good friends with her and she comes up to us just in a f sobbing mess and she was like just she couldn't even get like a full sentence out and finally she's like all right I, I have to go pee grabs both of our hands and brings us into the bathroom with her and while we're going to the bathroom we're like we we're looking at each other like dude like what what's happening right now like what the fuck she's like a sobbing mess and so we get to the bathroom as these four girls are now leaving the bathroom, which by the way, ladies, if you're watching this commentary, why do you go to the bathroom together? Like, why do you need people to pee with you? I don't, I don't fucking get this at all because this girl sobbing mess needed us to go to the bathroom with her, which I could kind of get like, she's in a bad state of mind and stuff. But these four girls who aren't even probably that drunk need to go to the bathroom together. Like it's not even that big of a bathroom. Like, I don't know how they all fat, like fat. I don't know how they all fit in there. Anyways, so we finally get to the bathroom as they're walking out and they just see this girl crying that just fucking drags me and my boy back into the bathroom with her. And I couldn't even imagine the look on their faces when they saw that. Um, and the, actually by the end of the party, the guy that was throwing it comes up to me kind of in a joking way. He's like, dude, I heard you're like raping girls in my bathroom right now. I looked at him like, dude, like, I don't know what the fuck happened. Like, I haven't touched a girl today. Like, I'm not, I'm not doing any of that. Um, so it was kind of just awkward just of course this shit happens to me right um but yeah tell me if you guys enjoyed the video a little bit of a longer one wow we're on eight minutes because i do that bullshit announcement at the beginning i know i'm sorry i'm sorry okay but um yeah hope you guys enjoyed the video uh leave a comment on i don't know anything you got any new legendary weapons do you still play advanced warfare do you even give a shit about this game yeah i don't know leave me a comment what you did this weekend whatever google plus page is in the link in the description be very appreciated if you go follow that i love you guys and i will see you guys within a week all right peace